You were messaging my sister. Why did I assault that cactus? Squatting above the toilet, peeing. Where are you, Christmas? Why can't I find you? Hey, 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 careful. Gosh, you need to stop doing that. It's hot, bub. You okay? Come here, honey. Hey, look at me. Look at me. You okay. This dummy has never learned that she can't get close to a candle. Literally, like, that was probably the tenth time she's done that. I think you're okay. You're okay. Don't go back to it. Oh my gosh. Bug. Honey. She's gonna do it again. She's gonna do it again. Bug. No. No. Alright, please ignore the fact that I look the way that I do, okay? It's the end of the day. I've had this makeup on for like 13 hours. If there's any, even anything left on my face, probably not. I have not even looked in the mirror since I got home, okay? I really want to film this because I've been saying I'm going to film this date story time since the date happened. And on one hand, I'm kind of glad that I waited or waited as if it was like strategic. No, um, I just have a hard time with story time videos which I'll get to in a second but I'm kind of glad that I waited because since that first date we've now hung out two more times and so much has happened. I'm pretty sure this is now going to be a two-part story and honestly I think part two might be the more intense part but part one is definitely the more like strange series of events and coincidences and absurdities. They're both going to be good okay? Well I hope. I don't really know. <laughs> story times are really hard for me because see I wanted to just get right into it and here I am but basically I have ADHD and so not only is it hard for me to sit down and just film a story not go off in 70 different tangen tangents and have them all kind of come together or at least like revisit things that I had talked about because I always seem to just like leave a bunch of loose ends untied is that the right Whatever, I just, I'm really, when I'm telling a story just like just off of memory and off of like how it happened and there's a lot of details and like a weird timeline, it's hard for me to stay on track. It's also really frustrating for me to edit myself when I do these videos, so that's why they don't happen as much. If you want to see more of these, go on my Patreon because I upload them like literally every day, but. Alright guys, this is going to be part one of my, I don't even, I haven't even thought of a title for this, insane, unbelievable, just peculiar. I don't even know what the adjective is. Let's just get into this story. So a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago now, I was staying at a hotel in Manhattan Beach and I actually filmed a video while I was there. I was staying there for the night. But I also had plans after I filmed to go meet up with a friend, sort of. Well, I mean, I guess he's a friend. I don't know. It's more of like a past hookup from the past. <laughs> it's like a Sunday night and I'm drinking as I'm filming my video and then it turns out he can't meet me anymore and it's like it was kind of my fault because I didn't get back to him and like let him know what was going on but so he can't meet up and it's like 10 o'clock and I'm like well I just drank all the champagne and I want to like hang out with someone hello this night was sort of like the first night that I really felt single my relationship ended like several months ago now but we were still kind of talking anyway we completely cut ties and haven't spoken but that was like the first night that I was kind of like whoa like I'm allowed to like go on a date if I want to. I wasn't really trying to just like hang out with a friend like no I wanted to like have sex you know what I mean. The two people that I had any interest in sleeping with couldn't. I'm like you know what I should do I should download a dating app because I've never really done it before like I've had I had a tinder like literally when it first came out like in 2013 or whenever it came out. I tried to make a tinder only to find out that I'm literally banned from tinder which is weird. I found out through like emailing people that it was probably because a lot of accounts had been using my photos and they were getting flagged and stuff so now I'm just like not able to ever have a tinder which like I guess is fine but like I kind of wanted to do like a tinder video but I digress. Also ironic because I was sponsored by tinder last year. <laughs> Meanwhile didn't even have the app. <laughs> I end up downloading hinge because one of my good friends who lives in a different state was talking to me about how like hinge has like the hottest guys and I'm like mm, we'll see about that because I'm very 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 picky. I download hinge I'm noticing that like there actually are a lot of attractive guys and I'm like whoa what's going on? I think Hinge has like actual people and not like robots that will like match you with people that they think you would be compatible with. I don't know. A lot of the people I was looking at were like fine. That's like that's so rare I feel like. I don't know. It was very it was very odd. The first person that I swipe right on because even though they're all attractive I'm like looking for how close they are. First of all my filter was on so that they all had to be over six feet. Age like 25 to 35 I think. Or no, I don't, 
do you swipe on hinge and like comment on their photo or like what they say so i don't know i think this guy had liked me first and then i just had to like match back with him actually this guy messaged me like right away first person who ever messaged me on the app and we started talking and he's really cool and chill and he's like 32 or almost 32 now yada 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 fast forward i don't know why i'm getting so much into the backstory i end up telling him my situation for the night and how i'm in a hotel in manhattan beach he ends up also living in a beach city not like one of the three near me but like i'm not gonna say exactly where though i think i may have already in a different video i don't know but let's just not i was like okay he's on the west side which is good because i'm on the west side most people live like more inland but i'm on the beach and so whatever i wanted someone that was like close you know but we're talking and it's becoming apparent that he's like an actual functioning human and he's like a fucking ceo and so like he has to wake up super early to go to the gym before work the next day and i'm like this guy's not gonna come to my hotel right now mm -mm, no he's not i hadn't like been messaging with like three other people two of whom were like celebrities and i'm <laughs> i'm not gonna really i don't know that actually could be a completely different story time it was like getting to be midnight and at that point i was like i just don't care anymore so i stopped messaging oh i need to give him a name we're gonna call him stewie and you will find out why later in the video <gasps> bubs did you just put your face in the candle again you gotta stop doing that hon we're gonna call him stewie you'll find out why later About a week later, I ended up messaging him again and I was like, sorry, I haven't been on this app. Like, I, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like dating apps. I don't, they're not my thing. I remember thinking like this guy was really cool and like super attractive and seemed like he had his shit together. You know what I mean? I messaged him again and I was like, sorry, I haven't been checking this. Like, I fucking hate this app. Long story short, we make plans to go out and get drinks that weekend. Yeah, it was on a Friday. So almost two weeks after we had initially talked to each other, met, we go out on a date. A date. I don't know. I guess it was a date. It was a date. It was definitely a date. <laughs> okay. Is this gonna be a three-part video? Because I can't stop talking. It's Friday night. I get ready. He Ubers me to the bar restaurant that we're meeting at. And I get out of my Uber and he's right there because he lives... Basically, I Ubered to the beach city in which he lives from my beach city, like 20 minutes away. So he just like walked from his house to this bar. It's a pretty long walk, which I learned later. <laughs> I get out of my Uber. He's like right there to like open the door and stuff. We go into the bar. It's like super crowded, like just impossible to even like walk in there. So I like push through the crowd of people and get to the front. And then we just decide, okay, let's go across the street to this other bar. So we walk over there. First thing that happened, which I still... I'm dealing with to this day actually is we walked out of the restaurant to go across the street and I, I don't know if you know this about me but I have a little bit of a cactus fetish. No, it's not a fetish, but I love cacti. Like if I see a cactus, I'm mesmerized. I usually will touch them. Obviously like gently, you know what I mean? Like I'm not trying to like, it's not like a self-harm thing. I just like cacti, okay? We walk out and I see like a row of cacti and they're like, they're nice. <laughs> what is this video? literally we had just met like 90 seconds prior to this right and i go to like just touch the cactus you know he didn't have to know just like wanted to admire it I, i'm assuming i like put all of my weight over on my left foot so that i could like reach it or whatever i don't know because i didn't fall but like i put all of my weight onto this side and i was wearing like heel boots so i think that was probably why because i think back and i'm like logistically why did i assault that cactus and how put all my weight on it and i'm like holy shit and he's like why, why did you just touch that cactus and i'm like I like cacti. <laughs> I still have things stuck in my finger from that, okay? So we're at the bar, we order drinks, we order m more drinks and even more drinks, I think. And we get along really, really well. I'm trying to decide if this should be a two or three part video because like on one hand, I wanna like kind of speed through the, not speed through, but like I wanna get through all of the events. But then like, I also wanna mention little details that were super like fucking in insane. I'm just kinda gonna like breeze past the part of the date where we're at the bar so let me know if you want to hear about like all the little fucking nuances of that because i was vlogging that night well not at the date but i came home and i was like holy shit like need to make a story time on this like so many little weird things were happening and i mean now since more stuff has happened and i want to talk about all of that i'll skip past it for now but let me know if you want to hear about all that stuff because i'm not gonna make it if you don't want it you know what i mean we get along really well i find out that he's a gemini he's also a gemini rising so he's a gemini sun and rising he had a leo moon though which i was like okay if you don't know i'm a libra sun but i'm a gemini moon and gemini rising so we both had gemini rising basically sorry if that moved camera overheated so i was just 
chilling on my private Snapchat for a while. Okay, I decided this video is just gonna be as many parts as it needs to be, okay? Let's just get through the first date in this part and then go from there. The date's going great, right? Gemini shit, all of that. Super funny, we're vibing super well. There's like clear chemistry. I go to go to the bathroom because we're gonna leave pretty soon and I have had like four drinks, I think. I don't, the whole time I hadn't been on my phone or even looking at my phone as a normal human should do when out with other humans. So I look at my phone and I had told my sister that I was going to meet up with this guy. You know, she asked me where I was going because she's super like mama bird and wants to know like in case something happens, like what, where am I planning on going, blah, 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 all that stuff, which is just like a smart idea to do in general. But I also sent her a picture of him because I was like, oh my gosh, like look how cute he is. Look at freaking Stewie, he's so cute. That was while I was in the Uber on the way there. So I go get to the bathroom and I pull up my phone to check. I see that my sister's texted me like four times. So I open up her text while I'm literally on the toilet, not even on the toilet, squatting above the toilet. Peeing. I wonder if I could go back and see. We text a lot, so let's see if I can even get it. And I send her a picture of him and I'm like, cute, huh? And so I'm checking while I'm in the bathroom. And she, oh, I guess she had texted me a lot. And she's like, lol, we messaged for a while. I thought he was a catfish. Oh, I'm gonna blur this out because she said his name. Because he isn't verified, so I called him out on it. But deleted my Bumble app after. Let me know if he's real. <sighs> Back in January or February, when my sister was over at my house once, she wanted to make a bumble and just like have fun with it because she's never done that before either. I don't know, I guess if you're on a dating app, are you typically on like all of them? Because I obviously met him through Hinge and she was like, oh, I talked to him on Bumble, but I deleted my app after. So I'm in the bathroom peeing and I'm like, are you serious? He's really great, but I'm about to roast him if you're serious. Why? What? You messaged him? Oh, so, okay. So I'm getting ahead of myself. I get out of the bathroom. I'm like still laughing, like visibly like laughing and smiling. And he like sees me walking back over to the bar and he's like, what is going on? Like what just happened? And I was like, so funny thing. <laughs> you were messaging my sister on Bumble, which is super weird. Cause like she didn't even talk to, she talked to like two people on Bumble because she's super picky too. And only like swiped on a couple people. He was like, wait, really? Like I deleted my Bumble app a couple months ago. And I'm like, yeah, this was a couple months ago. Like I'm obviously not mad. Cause like, what the fuck? I didn't even know him. And like, we're on our first date. I just was like, whoa, like weird. What are the odds? You know, it wasn't like, I'm pissed at you. It was like, what are the odds that you talk to my sister who's just as picky as me? He's like, what's her name? What does she look like? And I'm like, she looks like me, but she's nine years older. He said he didn't remember and that like a lot of times his buddies would talk to people on there. I don't know. I really don't know. They didn't really have like serious conversation, but I'm like, I told him and he says he doesn't remember. He said he didn't have Bumble, which he did, but then he said I deleted a couple months ago. And I was like, haha, I'm dying. He's really cool, super funny. And then she's like, hi, yeah, we messaged for a while. I'm glad you like him and that he's not a catfish. Moving on. We then decide to go back to his house. I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to think like how that came up. We were talking about weed, which is, I don't, I actually don't remember how this came up, but I remember him saying like, I have rolling papers at my house. Like, do you want to go back to my house? And I was like, yeah, I'm super down to go back to your house. Cause like I was no judgment here, by the way, <sighs> not that you were just like a very preemptive disclaimer. I'm like, yeah, I'm down. So we walked to his house, which by the way, I don't quite remember. Like I remember the walk, but I don't quite remember like how long it was. I do remember that I tried to steal a balloon. <laughs> It was pretty long, like, I, he said, like, oh, I'm, like, three blocks down. I feel like the walk lasted literally 30 minutes. But it was also, like, cold, and I also was drunk. But I tried to steal a balloon. Okay, so we walked by this house, and they have, like, all these birthday balloons. They're, like, kind of deflated, like, the birthday's over, you know? She's gone. We're like, oh my gosh, look at all those balloons. Like, ah, so cute. And I'm like, I want one. I walk up, and, like, I'm about to take one of them, because, like, there's, like, 30 balloons. They're not going to miss one of them, you know? I want a balloon, apparently. I would not do this in my sober state of mind, I don't think. Maybe I would, but I definitely was not sober. This is not even relevant to the story, but I went up to go grab the balloon and like my heels were sinking into the wet grass and then their light came on because it was like a motion activated light and then I got scared so I turned around to run and I tripped. Anyway, we get back to his house eventually after a mile long trek. Actually, it probably could have been a mile. Who really knows? He rolled up a joint and we were smoking, which I don't smoke all that often, like truly. I don't know when the last time was that I smoked a joint before that. Probably like May of 2017 is like the last time that I remember very clearly smoking a joint. So a long time ago. Earlier in the night, I had been talking about, oh no, I know what it was. We were talking about how I look like a who, right? Well, I was talking about how I look like a who. He was like, mm, I don't really see it. And I'm like, you're probably just 
mm, yeah, you're probably just trying to be nice because like never have I ever met someone who's been like, nah, you don't look like a who. Like, especially when I'm like, I look like a who. Of course, I pull out the, where are you, Christmas? Why can't I find you? Um, at the bar, he was like, whoa, you're a really good singer. And I was like, are you fucking joking me? Like that was not, I was not singing. I don't know if he was joking or not. Probably was because he's super, he jokes a lot. Like he literally told me like a 10 minute story about how he was a stripper and I was just sitting there like, okay, yeah, like, okay, no judgment. Probably not gonna date you, but like, okay, male stripper, 32, all right. And then it ended up being total bullshit. So he like does that thing where he just like talks nonsense. I think he was joking, but that's how the whole singing thing came up. And then at his house, I see that he has a guitar and I'm like, oh my gosh, you play the guitar? Yeah, he did play the guitar. So he starts playing the guitar and he tells me to sing. And I'm like, no, 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 like I literally don't sing. And he was like, come on, I heard your voice. And I was like, you mean my Cindy Lou Who voice? Like, it's not a real singing voice. I think I had sang earlier, just like while I was in my own world and he like, thought that I could sing. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Point is, he ends up like literally serenading me for I don't know how long. At this point, I'm smoking, I'm drunk, at like all concepts of time, I don't even know what's going on anymore, but he's serenading me and I remember just like staring at him and he probably was thinking like, wow, she's falling in love with me, but really I was just like, beep, beep, boop, pop, beep, beep, boop, beep. It's a weird night. He's serenading me and then he has a bunch of cool like knickknacks all over his house like we're in his living room i like stand up because i see something really cool across the room and i go to like get it thus he kind of like stood up even though he had his guitar i don't know how did that happen so fast i don't know he must have put his guitar down and did i just speak english Weird. Yeah, I don't know. He just like grabbed me and then like we started making out and then he picked me up and carried me to his bedroom where we proceeded to thinking of a way that I can say that that is like appropriate but then I'm like wait all of my videos are demonetized. Nothing matters anymore. We fucked. Okay, I'm gonna end part one right here because this is gonna be the end of night one. We cuddled for like an hour. This was not my request. Literally right after he finished he like jumped back in the bed i'm like more than prepared to get up and put my clothes on and like have him call me an uber not because i'm like over it but just because like i don't know i want to go home like i have a cat at home it's like 3 a.m like i don't expect someone to like don't get me wrong i like to cuddle but like only with like someone that like i love you know or like someone that i'm like falling in love with not just like i don't it doesn't give me the same feel good i just I don't know, but it was really nice. I don't know what it was if I was super high that I literally just felt like I was like melting. His bed's super comfy. I really hope he doesn't watch this. I mean, I don't really care because like it's nothing that he doesn't know, but also like he knows that I have YouTube. He knows my Instagram. It doesn't really, what do I have to lose? It, I mean, maybe in the next part, he might not like it in the part after that, but for now, it's fine. I haven't even got to why his name is Stewie yet and I won't until part two, so sorry about that. So then we're cuddling and things got weird. I just, I want to, I would feel so bad if you watched this though, it's like the only thing. He's not gonna, he wouldn't watch this. Things got weird. I'm like having a very big internal struggle because I'm like, ooh, he might watch this because literally on the date he talked about like, oh, why don't you do like a Tinder date picks my, or like rates my outfit or picks my whatever video. That topic came up and I was like, like, yeah, like, it's kind of like a weird thing. So now I'm thinking like, wait, if he knows that that's like a YouTube thing, then maybe it does watch my videos or maybe he will. I don't know. I'm just having like this internal struggle right now of like, if I should say this next thing, I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> Things got a little weird. Nothing like too, nothing that like turned me off from it completely, but just kind of like, oh, okay. And he called an Uber. My Uber was super fucking rad on the way home. It was like 3 a.m. My Uber was like this young, hot dude. The only time that I ever have just like continuously talked to an Uber driver all the way home. Dope. And he was super hot. And he was like, what's that guy, your boyfriend? Like, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm just like, he's just a friend. I literally, we literally just met tonight. As if like, I'm trying to get at my Uber driver suddenly. Honestly, wouldn't that have been a plot twist? Anyway, I get home at like 3 I don't know, go back and watch my vlog. It's like three or four. <laughs> Eat popcorn and probably go to sleep. I don't know. Part two is where things are gonna get like, see, this is why I didn't wanna do this. I wanted to make sure I got to like some really juicy stuff in the first video, but I promise you that the next part is, this is like the appetizer. The next part is like the main course, bitch. So, and yeah, I could just make a super long video, but I like those videos, but I don't know if everyone is into that kind of thing. So. Yes, that is part one. Was this entertaining? Let me know. I really don't know. I didn't get into like any super juicy stuff yet. The sex was good. If that's 
if anyone was wondering. <laughs> Maybe I'll make some notes for the next video. And I'm sorry if I was all over the place. I mean, I know I can fix it in editing a lot and that I'm going to cut out a lot of this because I actually filmed for super long. If I didn't circle back around to things or I don't know. I'm, I'm just sorry in general, you know? Sorry. I will film part two tomorrow and my cat is staring at me like, why does my mom do this? Is my mom okay? Why does she turn on a bright light and talk to an object that I like to bite? I'm gonna go microwave my leftovers. I don't have a microwave. Why did I? I'm gonna put them in the oven. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Relax for a minute and let me just begin to tell you about how I feel about women wearing Chanel when I smell you. It's incredible. And I've been waiting for you like a long time, for like a lifetime. Tonight, for like the right time.